For today's video, we're gonna get some gameplay with the most popular heavyweight since Muhammad Ali. And here's what it looks like up close. Where are your clothes? Put, put, put some clothes on. Not gonna lie, I'm liking this new gray checkerboard wrap. The look of it, the taste of it, the smell of it, the texture. I guess technically it's supposed to look like that, but as of right now, this is what it looks like. You can either get it from the Art Deco Llamas or you can research it from the collection book. If you research it, it'll cost 100 Legendary Flux and 1500 Weapon Designs. And here's all of the possible perks that you can put on it. At most, you can have up to two crit damage perks and three damage perks. And the only elements you'll be able to choose are nature, fire, and water. But the perks we're gonna use while we test it are crit damage times two damage, water damage, crit rating, and stunning or knocking back an enemy deals 12 base damage. And at the very bottom it says hardware medium, art deco, a hammer that delivers high knockback at a decent swing rate. And it also has the big slam heavy attack that knocks back foes. And big shout out to Biscuit, for letting us try out his maxed out heavyweights. And I think we'll try a couple of different loadouts, but while we test it, we're gonna use Tank Penny as our commander with the totally rocking out team perk. And for our support team, we have Main Stage Quinn, Breakbeat Wildcat, Mermonster Ken, Swamp Knight, and Deadly Blade Crash. And the mission we're gonna do is this power level 140, retrieve the data, and Cookies is gonna be helping us out. Do you wanna play a game? It's a number game. Uh, a number game? Yeah. Uh... Okay, I don't mind it. So basically, I say I one shit, and then you say I two shit, and we keep going, and we just keep counting okay. up. All right, all right. I one shit. I, 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 I want, wait, how do you say it? I two shit? I three shit. I four shit? I five shit. I six shit? I seven shit. I eight shit? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Son of a <laughs> Somebody clipped uh, it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. I, oh my, I should have. Damn it, why didn't I think about it before? But before we get into the gameplay, I do want to test it out. And first, we're going to start off with this Fire Smasher. And we're only going to use our regular attack for this one. And it looks like we did around 240,000 damage, 220,000 when we crit. And it took us about nine hits to kill him using just our regular attack. I also want to see how many hits it takes to kill him while also taking advantage of our affliction damage because we have Deadly Blade Crash in our support team. So with our current loadout, our affliction damage deals 168,000 and it ticks three times. And oh, we didn't crit that time. Let's go ahead and try again. I think we did 140,000 damage that time. So you should be able to kill him within about three or four hits. With your regular attack if you have deadly blade crash in your support team i also want to show what it looks like against the blaster and we were able to kill him with just one regular attack thanks to the affliction damage we got from having deadly blade crash in our support team so it only took one hit to kill the blaster and we were also able to kill the taker within just one hit as well look it takes a lot of courage and respect okay when it comes to getting blue glow the book? So I, I realized something, something that really ticked me off, what? like really, really, really ticked me off. What? They're saying that maybe anime now is starting to go to Japan, starting to go on Xbox instead of, you know, Sony, because Sony censors everything. And I'm like, are you kidding me? He just mad he can't play his anime sex games on PlayStation no more. It's called hentai and it's art. Dang it! I also want to show what the heavy attack looks like. And it's the same exact heavy attack as the pulverizer. And it looks like we did over 300,000 damage that time. And we're doing over 200,000 from our affliction damage because we have Deadly Blade Crash in our support team. And it only took us three heavy attacks to kill the power level 132 smasher. Probably could have killed him in two if we took advantage of that affliction damage. Matter of fact, let's just go ahead and try it. All right, so this time we're actually gonna go ahead and just let our affliction damage play out. See if we can kill him in two hits. With our initial attack, we deal 360,000 damage. Our affliction damage deals 252,000. And we were able to kill them within just two heavy attacks. So the most damage we could deal with our current loadout was 360,000. We would be able to deal a little bit more if we had a better six perk on it. But even then, it's still not gonna deal as much damage per hit compared to some other hammers. It's over, Anakin. 
I have the high ground. 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 The high ground. I have the high ground. You underestimate my power. Don't try it. And here's what the normal attack speed looks like without any attack speed perks. And it's actually pretty good when it comes to hammers. I believe the lead sled, surround pound, and Vendatex slammer are faster, but this is definitely one of the faster ones. So I don't think you'll need to put an attack speed perk on it. And here's what the attack speed looks like with Rock and Riff active. As you can tell, it's a little bit faster. But even if you don't have Rock and Riff, I still don't think you need to put an attack speed perk on it because it's still pretty fast without it. Only come inside anime girls. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Fresh balls. Hell no. Cook cookie. Why I'm building? If you don't get your snowflake ass on somewhere. <laughs> well, I don't know what you're talking about, man. I'm building right here. Do you see? Do you see oh. what it looks like? Uh, hold, let, hold on, like let, me, a... let me shoot it down first. Let me shoot it down. Wait, does that look like an atomizer to you, A1? Defend that data. A deatomizer? No, I'm talking about like yeah. the texture on it. Like you see, there's no. Yeah, texture. I see it. It's like uh, it's like yeah. a, a a fat nuclear bomb, like you know. All right, so we got fire enemies on this one, and. We we sort of got lucky because our thing was located right next to the right next to a pit. So uh, for the ones that get past us, we'll, we'll try to knock them into the pit. We got two defenders helping us out, and they're both using the hammer as well. And Cookies is also using it, so everybody's going to be using the Art Deco hammer. I'm not gonna lie to you, A1 or anything, but this definitely looks like the atomizer to me. <laughs> what the the way it's shaped or something? Yeah, the way uh, it's like, the way it looks, like all shaped up. It definitely reminds me of the atomizer. Yeah, well, it's Art Deco, so I mean, Deco. Yes, I think the maybe similar to the Husk Warper a little bit. The way it's shaped, I believe so. A little bit. Dude! Look, we just killed that smasher with ease. I think your defender's uh, down, Cookie. Yeah, one of, one of your one of your traps is like broken. <laughs> I'll go pick him up. If I can find him. Where'd he go? What trap is broken, Cookie? Where'd he go? I don't see him. There is nothing broken over here. Oh, oh, he's the okay. Yeah, your defender's down too, A1. She's down there. Yeah, I'll just uh, use this. Why did she go into this. the pit? Why did she go into I, the pit? I, I don't know. I, I didn't force her to go in there. Take her out. He's about to kill me. Oh, okay, there we go. I got, uh, I got a health boost. Do you need it? I'll use mine. Okay. So, when it comes to the heavyweight, I do consider it to be a really good hammer. Like with most other art deco weapons, it's pretty good when it comes to damage. Uh, I think the thing I like most about it is the quick attack speed. Like I said earlier, it's not the fastest, but it still feels really good. And it feels even better with Rock and Riff. So the attack speed feels really good. Oh. And the damage was pretty good too, but uh, we, we could do like a lot more damage with it if we just changed our six perk. But you got to use Reaper. Get away from oh. there, everyone. Yep. Get away from there. I'm out. I'm out. I was trying to get. Yep, I'm out. You going to die, dude? Get out of there! Help here. And plus, we we sort of made like a little weird build this time. I didn't want to put too many lethal traps down, so uh, we mainly just have like wall lights and launchers around the balloon. Yeah, get smashed! <laughs> and we don't have any traps in the east direction. Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, I'm about to go down, Cookie. I'm out. I uh, yeah, I got a health boost. Where you at? I could put down a campfire. Okay. Yeah. I probably should have put either like Arlene Isa or Birthday Jonesy or some type of hero to heal myself. Speaking of which, we did change our loadout. I probably should have mentioned that sooner. Uh, right now, we're using Deadly Blade Crash as our commander. 
And we put Tank Penny in our support team. Take that! Matter of fact, let's go ahead. And we also you added Power Pop Penny to our support team as well. Take that, you boomer! Instead of main stage Quinn. <laughs> oh my god, no! And the reason we chose this is because you deal like a lot more affliction damage when it triggers. You need some help over here, Cookie. I'm repairing everything. I'm repairing everything. But yeah, that's another good hero you could use with this hammer is Deadly Blade Crash. I'm trying to think who else you could use. If you don't want to put crit rating perk on it, you could use Guardian Bull as your commander. Or put him in your support team. Woo! We could have used an assassin ninja as well. So there's there's a lot of different loadouts you could use for the hammer, but oh, there's a lot of one. I'm, I'm like I'm literally about to fall right now. <laughs> I got a heal. One, uh, one of our defenders. I think that's your defender. No, that's your defender. Wait, is it? Let me check. Mine's a girl. Oh no, no, there's a lot. Hold on. Oh no, I'm down. Oh no, I'm down here and I fell. Hey, what? Don't. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I got it. I'm out. Oh my god, dude! I kick it out. So, yeah, I would say this is probably a top five hammer. I, there's still a lot of other hammers I prefer. Wait, where's my slow field? Mini boss is out, Cookie. <gasps> yeah, I see it, I see it, I see it. Try to get rid of this taker if you can. He's making me nervous. It's got vortex, damage, pulse building, blocker, and berserker, anyone? Yeah, I'm about to go down, though. Let, let me go down. Yeah, I gotta help you. <gasps> I'm down again! Why don't you use your health boost, Kiki? I forgot! No worries, I can I can regenerate. No worries. If I go down because of you, Cookie! <laughs> I got you, I got you! This build held up pretty good though. This is pretty oh, good. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Help me kill this thing of a bobber, anyone! I think the hammers I like more are <gasps> the lead slid. Uh, obviously, surround pounds like the best hammer. The mythic hammer is also better. What about that beat? Uh, the one that makes that uh, beating noise. Uh, the I think I forgot. Surround pound. It's not. Yeah, surround pound. Is that a good one too? Yeah, I think that one's better than this one. Yeah, I would say this is probably like a maybe a top five or top six hammer and save the world. Whoa! Oh man, that's how bad I am. <laughs> we only got three more files left. Absolutely. But now that we've reviewed this one, all we have left when it comes to Art Deco is the other shotgun. I think it's called Big Shot. I haven't tried it yet, but that's the last weapon we have to review, people. And we'll, we'll try to do it sometime this week if we can. But I think after that, maybe we'll start going to power level 144 weapon reviews. I'm not sure if y'all would be interested in seeing that, but I was thinking we could do that or there's still some other weapons we haven't reviewed as well. So let me know what y'all would like us to do after we finish our deco weapons. Oh, shoot. I'll leave a link to all those reviews in the description, by the way. But yeah, that'll do it for our first heavyweight gameplay. For those of you who have tried it, let us know what you all think about it. Oh my god, I wasn't recording. Cookie. Are you freaking kidding me, Awas? We did all this work for nothing, and all of a sudden you did not record. Oh, I was recording. Never mind. We're good. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Alright, so we got a level 3 loot chest. Some gold reperk and schematic XP. We also got some more reperk, legendary perk up in candy. We also got some more gold, as well as an epic Argon assault rifle. Yeah, that'll do it for this one. Big shout out to Biscuit for letting us try out his heavyweight. And shout out to Cookies for helping us out. I hope y'all enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.